Hello. You might recognize the space behind me. You may have seen it at Mass or over the live stream or various places. We are in the music area. It used to be the choir loft, but I don't think it'd be called a loft if it's not above the rest of the church, so I call it the music space. Um, this is where the choir is. This is where we have our grand piano and our uh, mighty Fowler organ, and you can see me behind me are the pipes, um, and inside this facade are hundreds and hundreds of other little pipes, wooden pipes, all that jazz. It's actually quite a sight. Maybe someday I'll show you. We also have our handbell tables with our handbell choir. This is kind of where everything takes place, right? You might see me or some other people uh, playing the piano or playing the organ. Um, at 11 o'clock mass, you'd see the choir and the handbell choir, who are kind of like our main ensembles, if you will, the ones that um, are the largest, um, not necessarily more important than anything else, but they are our biggest and most seen groups. Um, the choir and the handbell choir meet, uh, well, we did, not right now, but we meet every Wednesday from 6 to 6.45 for handbells and 7 to 8.30 for choir. And the adult choir sings at every 11 o'clock mass, um, and the handbell choir uh, plays once monthly at the 11 a.m. mass as well. They also both combined do the Easter vigil and the midnight mass. Some of the things we're blessed with here at St. Gerard is very dedicated and passionate music ministers. We have a choir of about 42 members, and we consistently get that many almost at 11 o'clock mass uh, almost weekly, which is kind of unheard of in the church choir world, and it's a blessing to St. Gerard to have that many dedicated music ministers. Same thing with the handbells, our 9 a.m. ensemble. For the most part, everyone is here weekly, uh, week in and week out, giving it all they got. Um, one of the things that is the greatest about our music ministry, in my opinion, is the passion that's behind all of our music members. Um, the passion and drive to make the best music to minister more uh, effectively to our congregation. Uh, that was evident, I think, in last December's Christmas concert with the handbells and the choir and the orchestra. Really just a, pa a project that was straight out of our hearts and love for our parish. Um, and if you don't believe me, here are a few members of our ministry music ministry to give you a taste of why they're here. Singing the praises of God twice a week through mass, through rehearsals, sometimes practices at home, has strengthened my personal faith in ways I didn't even realize were possible. And coming together again in harmony and unity to bring the word of Christ to fellow parishioners, that is a precious gift, one I don't think we'll ever take for granted again. Hello, I'm Mary Peacock, and I've been involved at St. Gerard in the music ministry since 2003. So as a choir member for the 11 o'clock mass, I've made friends, I've learned a lot, and it's just a wonderful way to have friends, fellowship, family, and faith. I'm also one of our cantors, and I do enjoy that as well. I do get nervous, admittedly, but I think it's a really good way to help people pray, so it helps me pray as well. So hopefully you are enjoying music ministry as much as I am enjoying it. God bless. To be an active member in the St. Gerard Parish Choir is a blessing and an honor. I take very seriously the role and responsibilities of representing St. Gerard in every assignment or activity asked of me. The people that I have met through my choir experiences have shown and continue to show terrific support and encouragement for me to learn how to sing prayerfully. This I cherish as a precious gift. My faith life has matured from one of empty participation to a faith life of choice to take an active role in Eucharistic services celebrating the body and blood of Christ. I'm Mike Curley.